Are you one of those women like me who spent most of your life working really, really hard trying to get to the top of that career ladder only to get to the top and go, why is it now that I feel so unfulfilled? As they say, maybe your ladder's up against the wrong wall. So where do we go from here? It's kind of like, you know, um, I've got to the top, but now I'm absolutely lost, you know, and I look back and yeah, I've, rec I've chalked up all these successes, but inside me, it feels like there's something missing. So what is that all about? Well, one of the most valuable things you can do in embarking on any journey about finding out who you really are, which is, let's face it, a journey to the inside of us, is to first look at where you are right now in the same way that if you were going on a holiday somewhere, you first have to define your departure point. So let's do that. Using my simple five door model, what we're going to do uh, is just uh, appraise which of the five doors you feel you might be living behind. So I'm going to go through each one, a brief explanation so you understand. And as I'm doing this, just check in and go, okay, which one resonates for me? You can look at it from the perspective of your entire life or a specific aspect of your life, maybe your career, uh, your relationships, uh, your overall quality of life, your energy level, your financial uh, status, uh, whatever is the biggest issue on your mind right now, use that as your filter. Okay, so ready? Let's go. So doorway one uh, is what I call the worst case scenario. It's the doorway that many of us don't actually want to confront. I call it living hell. So it's living hell according to whatever that means for you. So it might be uh, you know, bankruptcy, developing a chronic disease, or something less tangible. You know, It could be uh, just a feeling of permanent anxiety or chronic depression. Uh, it's a door that most of us don't want to go to, but the problem is if we don't confront it, it has a habit of finding us regardless. So that's doorway one, living hell. Doorway two is uh, a life of total compliance. So not taking any risks. That's why we call it treadmill. Uh, typically you might be working nine to five. You might be working uh, according to all the rules of your particular society, what that is, you know, your culture, your peer group, your religion, uh, whatever it means, you are absolutely conforming to how you've been programmed to run your life. That's doorway two. Now, doorway three is where we start to break away from conformity and chart our own course. And we call it roller coaster because when we're embarking on this life, we might think, you know, whether it's a business, whether it's a new relationship, or maybe it's doing something bold like changing countries, you know, absolutely making a break in your life and saying, I'm going to do something, you know, that does involve some risk. We normally, most of us are natural optimists, so we normally assume it's going to be fairly plain sailing. However, reality rarely turns out to be that simple. And our experience of life is more like a roller coaster up and down, you know, where there are lots of highs, lots of lows. So if that's you, that, then maybe uh, that's where you are, uh, stuck behind doorway three. Doorway four is where you finally made it. You know, you've got everything that you thought you wanted, whatever that is. It might be the big house, it might be millions in the bank, it might be, you know, what looks like the perfect marriage, the, the just the right number of kids. However, when you actually get to this doorway four, which I call pipe dream, it's actually a delusional state. And pipe dream refers to those opium dens, you know, a hundred or so years ago, when people would sit around smoking opium, uh, living some, in some kind of delusional paradise. And that's so often the experience I hear from people who have arrived at doorway four, where they go, my goodness, you know, this is everything I worked so hard for. And yet now that I'm here, it kind of feels empty, like there's something missing. What is that all about? Okay, so they're the first four doors. And the, uh, the problem here is you can spend your whole life just like I did, uh, getting to doorway four, only to be hit by some absolute calamity. In my case, it was the 2008 uh, global financial crisis um, and find yourself ca uh, catapulted back to doorway one. So there's not even any guarantee that once you go to doorway four, you're going to stay there. In other words, it's not uh, a, a predefined sequence. Uh, you can be thrown from doorway four to doorway one to doorway three. Um, 
until you get to a point where you go, hang on a sec, there's got to be more to life than this. And this, of course, is where we get to doorway five, or what I call the fifth door. And as the visual suggests, it's really a doorway beyond definition. It's when finally you feel that you've come to uh, the truest expression of who you really are. And you, from that point of knowing who you are, you're living a life that is authentically you, where you are showing up as you are expressing you know, your unique combination of gifts, skills, talents, aptitudes, whatever they are, and focusing on your core strengths to show up in the world as your core best, doing what it is you love to do, but more than that, subscribing to something that's bigger than you, uh, so that in a sense, you get out of your own way. And in doing this, doing what we love, we're fulfilling ourselves, but we're also solving a problem for others. And that's really the key to fulfillment. So that's doorway five. So reviewing those doors, which one do you think you're living behind right now? So living hell, doorway one, living uh, doorway two, treadmill, doorway three, roller coaster, doorway four, pipe dream, and then doorway five, let's for the sake of this exercise, call it uh, your sweet spot, uh, the intersection between what you love to do, what you're also good at, and where you're getting rewarded for solving a problem for others intersects. So which of those doors are you living behind? Have a think about that. And uh, when you come to realize that maybe the reason uh, life doesn't feel as fulfilling as it should, given all the effort and work that you've put towards it, maybe right now you're simply stuck behind the wrong door. And if you need help with that, if you need some guidance in terms of how to get from where you are to where you, in your heart of hearts, you know you need to be, then just reach out to me. I'm going to be holding a masterclass on the 2nd of September. I'll be posting more details here. So stay tuned for that. And with that, I will be sharing uh, the first step to getting to where you, like, where you need your life to get to be and the one thing that can stop you getting there. So I look forward to seeing you there.